Hello and welcome to Balance Bombshells TV. Balance Bombshells is where all active and busy women are going to learn how to live in relation with their body, balance their hormones, and finally ditch those annoying symptoms that seem to hold us ladies back all the time. Um, so today I'm going to walk you through a hormone test that I did with Let's Get Checked. And so I did one a few months ago for the ovarian reserve test. So you can find that video on my channel to learn, you know, the process of taking um, the blood sample, um, you know, why I was taking ovarian reserve tests and what this will do for you. You're definitely going to want this if you want children in the future. Um, but today I want to walk you through the female hormone panel, which I did back in January 2019. And I'm sharing my experience with the test. And I'm even going to um, share my screen with you so I can show you the panel of what the results look like, the four hormones that it's testing. So if you don't know what this is and you're like, I don't know what a female hormone panel is, this test from Let's Get Checked, and this is a company that provides hormone kits delivered to your home that you can actually take yourself and submit it to the lab and have a nurse call you and actually walk through your results with you. So it saves you time from not having to go to the doctor. They're able to tell you exactly what part of your cycle you're supposed to take the test. So if you watched my ovarian reserve video, that one can be taken at any time of the month where this female hormone panel was very, very specific and you had to take it on day three of your cycle. So that's day three of when your period happens. So you know, if once your period starts, that's day one. And so then it's the third day into your period. So very, very specific on this test. Otherwise, like if you do it at other points, you're not really going to get an accurate reading um, based on the four hormones that they are then testing in this test. So a female hormone panel actually is going into your ovulation and testing the hormones related to your luteinizing hormone, your follicular stimulating hormone, which you need to be able to ovulate correctly. And so if you know anything about hormones, you know, okay, yes, I need to be ovulating if I want to get pregnant. But what does that mean for me if I don't want to get pregnant right now, or I know that I want to in the future, do I need to worry about this? Um, I thought the same thing. I never really understood ovulation other than that's the time of the month that you can get pregnant. So when you think about how that relates to your life, ovulation is actually a huge phase of the month to be tuned into whether or not you're, you want to be pregnant. So if you want to feel good, if you want to have a happy and healthy period, if you want to feel calm during your period, you want to make sure that ovulation is functioning very well for you. So not only does that increase your fertility, so if you don't like kids yet, make sure that you are working around that, but just knowing like, okay, if my ovulation is functioning well, if those hormones in my body are having my body ovulate correctly, my period's going to be regular, my energy's going to be higher, my skin's going to be clearer, um, you're just going to feel more bright. You're going to feel more charismatic. You're going to feel more social. And so we can all want that in our life. So that all relates to your ovulation phase in your monthly cycle. So, you know, regardless if you want to have a baby or not, you want to be able to look and feel your best all month long. So most women think, oh, I don't need to worry about um, my cycle unless I'm having a terrible period. Um, but one of the reasons why you might not be having the best premenstrual or menstrual week is because your ovulation is not on point. So the female hormone panel is a really great test to be able to test how is my ovulation working? Like, are these hormones, you know, in balance? Are they within the ranges that they're supposed to be in? If there's anything off, that's when you are able to take that data, you're able to take that knowledge and figure out how you can support your body better with food, what you can be changing in your fitness habits, what you might be needing to change in your self-care. All that is beautiful insight once you actually know your hormones and the stats behind it. So a little backstory of why I was really interested in taking this hormone test. A few years ago, I went in to get my hormones tested through my doctor. And they just sent me to the blood clinic, uh, the clinic to get the, the blood drawn. And they were just doing like a, a wide range of panels. They were testing my thyroid. They were testing, um, you know, ovulation hormones. They were testing estrogen, progesterone, like all of that stuff they were testing. Uh, and the reason why was because my hair had started falling out. So I have quite a bit of hair, so no one could really tell. But for six months, my hair was actually falling out. So that can be a cause of... Um, you know, PCOS, that could be a thyroid condition, that could be really high stress, that could be um, my body telling me that hormonally something was wrong because I should not have been losing my hair, especially in my 
funny. Like that is not cool. So I went to the doctor and they just sent me, they didn't ask what day of the month I was out of my cycle. They didn't ask when my last period was. They just sent me to get my hormones tested. And so what came back, um, the, everything else was in normal range. And so the physicians, you know, in Western medicine test for disease range. So if your body is always within normal range, they're not really testing, um, they're looking for that disease range. So like my body shouldn't have to actually then get to disease range for me to also be showcasing some of these symptoms. So really, if you know, if you're going to your doctor, you can dig deeper and being like, what really is going on? So always advocate for your own health. Um, that for me was kind of like a discouragement because they told me I'm healthy and they sent me home. And I was like, me losing my hair means that something isn't right. And that doesn't mean that my body is as healthy as it could be. You know your body better than anybody else. And if you have these hormonal symptoms and these signs that something's off and you know intuitively that it, like something is wrong, keep advocating for yourself. So that's when I really dived into more of my hormone journey and got to know my hormones on an even more intimate level and just what was really going on based on the signs my body was giving me. So for the hormone panel, um, the only hormone that was slightly off in my um, test for my doctor was my luteinizing hormone, which goes along with our ovulation, which at that time made a lot of sense because my period was delayed. My period was in the range of 40 to 43 days and something healthy, like a, a healthy menstrual cycle is anywhere between 21 and 35 days. So if you are shorter than 21 days or you're longer than that 35 day mark, your, your menstrual cycle is then considered abnormal. So my cycle had been abnormal for quite a long time. And to know that that luteinizing hormone that is related to ovulation was off, that made so much more sense of why then my period was delayed. So that was one key insight that I had. So, you know, since then I've been on, you know, my own hormone balancing journey. Journey. I've been educating other women about hormones because I just feel like when you know them, when you know what's going on within your body, when you can understand that you have the power to change it just through food and lifestyle and fitness changes, I mean, it's huge. And like, that's why I love companies like Let's Get Checked. And I'm just so grateful that they exist because you're able to dive into the very specific hormones and, you know, specific areas of your health that you want to know and they have tests around that so then I you know finally found this female hormone panel and I was like okay I'm going to test the hormones related to ovulation I'm curious of what is now happening three years after this this journey of what's going on with that luteinizing hormone my cycle had kicked back into normal range so I got it down naturally um, regulated it myself down to 29 days and now it ranges between 28 and 31 days depending on um, you know, certainly the energy of the moon because their cycle is, you know, pulled with the moon or any sort of like added stress. Um, those things can, you know, it's natural for our, our periods to be cycling within, you know, a small range window, not drastic like mine had been. Um, but that was really positive knowing like, okay, I know that my cycle is more on track. It's very predictable. I'm getting my period at the time of the month where I should be getting it. And I'm now going to share my results with you. So what um, let's get checked does is you then get let me see how I can share my screen with you um, you can get a hormone panel delivered to your house and you then take the blood sample on your own um, they have videos that walk you through it the first time I did it and I share this in the ovarian reserve video that I did is I had to rewatch the video like four times to be able to make sure that I was doing it correctly. So you have to make sure that you are taking enough blood to fill the vial um, past the recommended fill line. Um, if you don't do that and you send it back to the lab, they then can't test it and it's not viable. And if you just spent all this money on this hormone test, like that's not really going to be a well a good use of your money because you kind of just wasted it. So you really want to make sure you're following the directions on the kit. They're super simple. I just for myself had to make sure that I was doing it correctly and making sure that it was to the correct fill line. Um, so then what happens is once you submit it within a few days, you'll get an email that a nurse wants to speak with you. Usually they'll call you. I screened my calls. I'm not going to lie. So I did not pick up a number that I don't recognize. But they were so nice, they left me, left me a voice message and then sent me an email saying they wanted to go over my results with me. And then they call you back very, very quickly. 
So then I logged into here. So this is my dashboard on Let's Get Checked. And you can see that I completed the female hormone panel, which is up here in the corner, and that, that it tested, my blood sample tested these four hormones. And then the nurse was able to walk me through each of them and what each of them meant. So the luteinizing hormone, your follicular stimulating hormone, those relate to ovulation and releasing a healthy egg to then be, be fertilized. If you're trying to get pregnant and you know, you're having sex during that time, your egg can then be fertilized and you know, lead to a baby. If not, that's when your, um, it you know, drops down and starts to shed the lining of your uterus because you're not then having a baby, which we then know of, of having our period. So these two hormones are related to ovulation and then your prolactin, that is a hormone related to breast milk. So, you know, if you ever want to breastfeed, you know, you want to look into this hormone and how, how is this functioning within your body? You know, does that mean that you're going to be able to breastfeed? Are you going to be producing enough milk? So this really tests, um, and I thought this was fascinating, like not even being pregnant, not even having a baby. This is able to test um, my hormone related to breastfeeding. And if I ever, you know, want, and I plan on doing that with children, um, but this is really useful to know. And then estradiol is a type of estrogen in your body. So you really want to make sure that your estrogen levels are in check. We are in a um, kind of like an environmental crisis and women with their bodies have too much estrogen in their bodies because, you know, there's excess estrogen in certain foods that we're eating. There are extra estrogen in um, using plastics that are essentially taking these fake estrogens and mimicking estrogen in the body. So being up on your estrogen levels is something that you truly want to know because, you know, if you're getting a lot of bloat in your hips, thighs, and butt area, if you're getting acne along your jawline, like these are signs of estrogen dominance. Um, so I have struggled with that greatly. So I really appreciated that they were um, testing one of the, the hormones related to estrogen. So then you can go to your drop down menu here. And then what this does is this then tells you your, your range, like based on how they are um, categorizing it, it tells you like, okay, if you're under the 2.4 mark, that's not normal. And if you're over the 12.6 mark, that's not normal. So this to me is like, great. My luteinizing hormone is within normal range, which it was awesome to learn because it was definitely not a few years ago. So I love, love, love seeing this. And then what you can see in here is that they tell you, okay, you were received a normal in your luteinizing hormone test. This means that your LH, so that's how they abbreviate it, your LH level was within the normal range on day three of your menstrual cycle. That was the day that I had to take this test to be able to get the most accurate results on these readings. Um, so I just love this too, like they're able to kind of help break it down for you. And then even, you know, do I need additional support right now? Like I could go speak to a nurse and just be like, hey, girl, like I've got some questions, which I love that added support because sometimes like you're off on your own and you're like, I don't know what this is. Help a girl out. So then the follicular stimulating hormone, this is also within normal range. So mine came in at a 6.5 IU. And so that was still within normal range which is great. So this is um, the hormone that's essentially going to help your follicle stimulate to be able to create a viable egg to be um, used for conception if you then, you know, are ready to have babies. And then prolactin, this is a hormone related to our breast milk. So this was showing that I was in within normal range. So, you know, if I choose to breastfeed, I should be able to do so based on this, this hormone being normal. And then this was the, the range for um, estrogen. And so this is really great to know that this too was also in line. I have done so much work on trying to get estrogen balanced. And sometimes I feel like that can be a full-time job on its own. Um, but this was really great um, to know that I had balanced everything. So that is a look at my results from the female hormone panel, the hormones that they test during that test, when to take it, which is day three of your menstrual cycle. Um, so if you're interested in getting your hormones checked, de definitely check out Let's Get Checked and their website is letsgetchecked.com. Um, they have a lot of different hormone kits that you can do. So you can do your female hormone one, you can do your ovarian reserve, which is to test how many viable eggs you actually have left, which I was scared about, but I'm really glad I took that test as well. You can test your cortisol. So if you've been feeling really overwhelmed and stressed out, you can understand what your stress hormones are doing. 
And like, if it's too high and then, you know, that's when you can start working backwards. I feel like once you have this knowledge of like, you know, are things balanced or not, you can then start making those changes. And I feel like having that knowledge is so, so, so key. And it doesn't need to be something you fear. I mean, I totally understand fearing taking these types of tests. I, before I took them, I called my mom and I was like, I'm so nervous. I'm going to be testing my hormones. Like I'm just, I'm fearful of what the results are going to be. Like I just, I didn't want to hear bad news. And so I just want you to know that like you are on the right path. And if you're watching this video, you very might well need to be checking your hormones. And so do not fear a bad result or something being off. If something's off, that's an opportunity to learn more of how to support your body in a way that works for you. Because the hormones being off are really your body telling you, you need to make a change and something in, in how you're living your life needs to shift. And just being able to have that knowledge to then be able to figure it out is invaluable for your, your health, for your, for your life. I mean, balanced hormones make us feel happy and calm and carefree and just not stressed out in the world. And you absolutely deserve that. So uh, check out letsgetchecked.com and you can save 15% on any of their hormone kits by using my code bombshells. And so that's bombshell with an S and then you can save a little bit of money and be able to get your hormones checked at home. So thank you so much for joining me on this video and I, uh, uh, ugh, tongue twister. I will see you next time. Bye, babe.